When I first met you, sincerely no lie I was thinking this is meant to be, she's so fly And just the kind of lady that the doctor ordered Yes, the same look in her eyes, the one in her daughter And I can't tell you how much you mean to me I can only show you my love, but you be my queen So you don't have to worry, you don't have to wonder Just keep it real, let no man take this under I don't know what I'd do if he leave Cause he's like the air that I breathe his loving oh so sweet, make me weak, drop me down to my knees, see, yeah, I'll do anything for him, adore him, and put no one before him, ladies and gentlemen, pay attention, you witnessing, something like a drug, but it's called love. I know with feelings, the growth is gradual, but you got me feeling when we close, it's nothing casual, I'm thinking all kind of things, wedding bells, setting says you got me love sick, and I don't see no getting well, it's natural, letting the jail coming together, you and me thick as thieves, not Fair weather, friends don't ends, man. None of that, just hold it down, baby, cause I got it under wraps. Love is a word with four letters, like all the bad ones, but this one's better. Way more deeper and much more clever, cause it's good, but could turn back quicker than the weather. Most people fear it, to so some hiss, whatever. I'm one that loves love, and don't think there's nothing better, cause love always been down for me, whether through God, my friends, or my family. Love. Sometimes it's hard, and sometimes it's easy. Sometimes she bugged me, sometimes she pleased me. I know in my heart that girl needs me, and at the end of the day, she she knows how to read me, so I buckle down and give that love freely. Show her for her, this man here is greedy, and only her specialness can feed me. I take the time as such and let the moment lead me. Nobody's been able to detect that phenomenon. However, the picture on the right, one can see there's actually glowing in the liquid uh, where we have generated uh, excited electrons to release photons purely through cavitation. As a caveat to that, some uh, biological um, agents are able to do bioluminescent, not through the usual biochemical pathways such as luciferase, but actually through cavitation. Certain types of shrimp are actually able to create cavitation bubbles and generate light in this manner. When a cavitation bubble collapses, there's a number of things that happen directly upon the tissues. Um, for one, there is acoustic streaming. In this case, cavitation bubbles can oscillate around their resonant size and generate velocities that induce shear stresses on the cells and tissue. One of the useful applications of this is for uh, drugs or perhaps genes that are difficult to penetrate through cell membranes, one could use acoustic streaming from cavitation to momentarily disrupt cell membranes in order to drive drugs. Another application is sonochemistry. In these cases, the sudden collapse of bubbles generate momentary high temperatures in the bubble core. These very hot bubbles can induce chemical changes in the surrounding medium, which in addition to free radical generation, uh, which is implicated in sonodynamic therapy, we can also create uh, metal interactions and do um, unusual things with surface chemistry. In addition, shock waves uh, from the sudden collapse of cavitation bubbles um, can disrupt the tissues, and it's also been suggested we could use this for drug transport, such as for sonophoresis and sonoporation. In these cases, uh, as we know, there are certain drugs that can be applied directly to the skin through the use of patches or pads. However, with the use of shock waves, we may be able to deliver larger macromolecules directly through the skin uh, with the application of overlying um, ultrasound cavitation. And there is some published literature on this. And then lastly, the formation of liquid mi microjets. And if you look at the, the last picture in the diagram as well as the photograph down at the bottom, these are examples of what a liquid microjet might look like. And in these cases, 
uh, you have an uneven uh, collapse of the cavitation bubble, causing very, very high velocity microjets to penetrate into the tissue. Um, and uh, some additional effects, including the increasing temperature, is important in some therapies, such as treating uh, bleeding and hyperthermia. So let's just take a moment and review the things we can do with cavitation. One, we can do transdermal drug delivery. Two, gene therapy. And three, such things as angioplasty, in which cavitation ultrasound devices can be placed directly into the coronary blood vessels. Four, thrombolysis, similar to angioplasty, uh, except we may be able to do uh, DVT uh, destruction and so on. Um, and, of course, we can also do unusual things like CNS drug delivery. Uh, the problem with delivering drugs into the brain is often the very, very tight basal membranes that create the blood-brain barrier in the blood vessels at the base of the brain. Uh, temporarily disrupting these would give a novel mechanism whereby one could deliver drugs into the CSS, CSF, such as chemotherapeutic agents. Also, ocular drug delivery, the ability to deliver agents into the eye without the use of needles would be certainly interesting. And then lastly, lipoplasty, and that's really the main focus of this talk, is to introduce cavitation and how we can use it to treat fat. And one last example, this interesting creature on the right is the mantis shrimp. And there's a number of uh, shrimps that kill their prey by rapid strikes from their claws. And recently it's been determined that they have such tremendous accelerations that they're able to create 10,000 Gs of acceleration and go from uh, a dead stop to 23 meters per second, literally in an instant. Um, and they've measured cavitation bubbles, which actually can destroy or stun their prey. Uh, and in even rare cases, they've managed to break aquarium glass with the use of cavitation. I'd like to conclude this presentation by introducing the CavaJet, which is a proprietary combination radio frequency and cavitary ultrasound device. In my next presentation, I'll be presenting the technical specifications and the performing uh, operating characteristics of the device.